Did you know that the Amazon rainforest literally creates its own rain? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. I found a river bigger than the Amazon, but you can't see it on any map. And like any machine, if you want to understand how it works, you got to start with the parts, and you'll never guess where it gets it. The forest. The trees themselves release these tiny, invisible particles that float up into the sky. These particles are the perfect seeds for clouds to form around. That's how the Amazon literally makes its own rain from scratch. If you think this is as crazy as I do, hit that subscribe button because we are going to explore the most insane things on the planet. And I mean it. Comment below what unbelievable thing we should investigate next. In this case, that means trees. The Amazon has a staggering 390 billion of them. And every single one is basically a water fountain. If it collapses, it's game over for food security, biodiversity, and our climate. We're not just saving trees, we're saving the machine that keeps the planet alive. That river in the sky is real, and it's up to us to keep it from disappearing forever. I'm talking rivers of water vapor as big as the actual Amazon River on the ground. This flying river travels across the entire continent, getting recycled over and over until it smashes into the Andes Mountains. Then it turns south and waters farms in Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina. It's basically a sprinkler system for an entire continent. Through a process called transpiration, one tree can shoot over a thousand liters of water into the air every single day. That's enough to fill up 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools, and the whole forest pumps 20 billion tons of moisture into the atmosphere daily. That's more water than the actual Amazon River dumps into the ocean. It's literally a river in the sky, and the Amazon rainforest creates it. This flying river is so powerful it could save the world or break it. The Amazon isn't just a bunch of trees. It's a giant weather machine. Every tree we cut down is like breaking a pipe in this machine. Scientists are warning that if we lose just 20 to 25% of the forest, the whole thing could just stop. No trees, no rain, no rain. The forest dries up and catches fire. This could turn large parts of the Amazon into a dry savanna and release billions of tons of carbon. This is the ultimate tipping point. But all that water can't just become rain on its own. It needs something to grab onto, like a seed. Once the clouds are made, they get pushed by wind, forming giant flying rivers in the sky. But here's the crazy part. This entire system is about to break. It's insane how one tree in Brazil can literally decide if a farmer in Argentina gets rain. This isn't just some cool science fact. The Amazon making its own rain is one of the most important things on Earth. It keeps our climate stable. 